welcome to Crafting Things. My name is Samantha, and today we are going to make origami pencil holders. Here are the supplies you will need. You will need six pieces of origami paper. These are six by six pieces. You will also need a piece of cardstock, some glue, um, and with the glue that we have provided in the kit, you will need a paintbrush. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your pieces of origami out of your bag. Um, and we're going to start with one piece. And we are going to fold it in half. You can fold it this way or this way. It doesn't matter which way you fold it in half. And make sure you have a nice, good crease. All right, and then you're going to unfold. Okay, and then the next step is you're going to dog ear um, the top of your piece of paper so that the corner meets the middle. So again, you're going to dog ear. And once you have your dog ears, you're going to take the bottom of your paper and you're going to fold it up so that it meets where your dog ears are. Okay, now you're going to take the edges of your um, piece of origami paper and you're going to fold it in. I'm going to take the sides and fold in to meet that metal piece. And then make sure you have it creased well. Okay, now comes the tricky part. What we're going to do next is inside this flap right here, we're going to put some glue here and here. You can unfold it a little bit for better access for the glue, but you're going to put glue here and here. And once you have the glue in, we're going to tuck this piece in. So go ahead and open your glue, get your paintbrush. Okay, and then like I said, I am folded a little bit just so that you can kind of see what you're doing. And you don't have to be overly liberal with the glue either. I, I go pretty light on it because it doesn't take much for this paper to stick together. Once you have your drawing, go ahead and leave this pocket open so that it doesn't stick. Now you're going to take the other side and you're going to stick it in the pocket. Okay. And then you'll press and hold so that the glue adheres. And just wait a couple of seconds just to make sure that that glue adheres. Once you have that, you have your first side of your pencil holder. We're going to do this exact same thing five other times, for, so we have a total of six of these. So go ahead and take your other pieces of paper um, and repeat the steps for this one. Once you have all six pieces ready to go, our next step is to glue the sides together. So go ahead and take your glue and you're just going to paint the side of one with glue. And again, you don't have to get too excessive with the glue. Okay, once you have the glue on, you're going to take another piece. Okay. 
move my glue. I'm going to take it in my piece and we're just going to attach it. And put your fingers in and press together. Alright, and we'll continue by doing that to the next side. We're going to paint glue onto this side. Okay, now the tricky part is this last piece here. And this piece that's going to go in right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue here and glue here and stick it in. And I'm going to press and hold on either side. So go ahead and put your glue on either side of your pencil holder. Now once you have your glue on both sides, you're going to take your last piece and insert it. Line it up as best you can. Press and hold the one side. Attach it to the other side. Press and hold the other side. Alright, so we are almost done. So this is our pencil holder. So if you see any gaps, you know, just press and hold, press and hold. Press and hold is key. Um, when attaching these pieces together. Um, so our final step is a little tricky. We need to attach this to the bottom of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on the bottom pieces of our pencil holder and then we're going to sit it on top of here. Okay? All right, so once you have that glue on the bottom, just set it on top, press and hold. And at this point, just leave it. Just leave it like this. Walk away for a little bit, let it dry, and then we're gonna come back and we're going to um, cut around the bottom here, okay? All right, so then once it's dried, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors, and you are going to cut around the bottom. It's key to let this dry, otherwise this can get really kind of frustrating. There is unfortunately no easy way to do this bottom piece. And once you have your bottom in here, you are good to go. Your pencil holder is ready for use. Thanks for joining Casting Things today.